Hearing more information tonight about the relationship between assault victim Mallory Owens and her accused attacker, Travis Hawkins Jr. Friends of Hawkins spoke to Fox 10 News reporter Candace Murphy today. She joins us live in the studio with more. Candace? Well, Bob and Letitia, Hawkins' friends say he and Owens have had a strained relationship for some time. They don't agree with the way he's accused of acting and aren't defending the attack, but they say there are two sides to the story. Assault victim Mallory Owens was back at the Hawkins residence today. We're told she was spending Thanksgiving at her girlfriend's home when the girlfriend's brother, Travis Hawkins Jr., allegedly beat Owens. Despite the brutal attack, Owens says she's not scared. The way that they are, they're normal, you know, good, outgoing family. Friends of Hawkins spoke on his behalf today. They say Hawkins and Owens have a rocky past. They've always had constant arguments all the time. They've never gotten along. The Hawkins family isn't offering a motive, but they are saying the attack was not a hate crime. I wish other people would realize he was doing it out of defense for his sister. It wasn't out of hate. He shouldn't have hit her at all, no, but... He never had the intent to cause the damage that he did. He said that whenever he saw her picture, he just bawled his eyes out. Hawkins' friends say he and his family have received numerous death threats. Owen says she thinks Hawkins should be punished, but doesn't believe he should spend years in jail. I just don't understand, you know, a lot of things that have happened between us, but it doesn't make me hate her brother. You know, I don't hate my family at all or anybody. Hawkins is charged with second degree assault and was released from Mobile Metro Jail on bond. I spoke with Hawkins on the phone today. He isn't releasing a statement at this time, but expressed remorse. Thanks, Candace.